Welcome to the Well Woman Show, where we use intersectional feminism, mindfulness, leadership, and strategy to support smart women to change the world without anxiety, insecurity, and burnout. On the show, we challenge the status quo and support you to unlearn harmful messages that keep you playing small so you can activate your superpowers and live with joy, confidence, and ease. I'm your host, Giovanna Rossi. Hello, hello, well women. Welcome to the show. Happy fall, depending on where you are in the world. I'm so glad you're here. If you're new to the show, I want to welcome you. And if you're returning, welcome back. There's lots and lots going on here and in the world. And I thought it would be great to really kind of dive into this notion of gratitude. It's come up in several places lately. I actually did a module on gratitude for the Well Woman Academy recently. And so I'm going to share some of the recording from that with you directly here. So you can kind of get a peek into how we, um, what we work on in the academy. And you can go to the show notes at wellwomanlife.com slash 223 show for some more information and links. But today on the show, we're really going to dive into gratitude through the lens of the well woman framework. So I'll talk about how to avoid faking your gratitude and how to consistently produce long lasting positive feelings that lead to taking action. So if you're wanting to make a change in your life, uh, create something in your life, transition to some some place or something in your life. Gratitude is a great you know thing to look at. Um, I do think that it is somewhat overused in in that it's sort of the be all and end all and you know it, it really depends on how you use it and and so I talk about this on the show today. So I'm excited to share this with you. I'll, I'll walk you through the exact activities I use in the Well Woman Academy so you can get a chance to actually do some of those activities that we do in the academy. And this will give you a little peek into this group coaching program that I run here related to the Well Woman Show. So I hope you enjoy. And here is a bit from the well Woman Academy on gratitude. Today, we're going to talk about how to produce long lasting positive feelings. So a lot of there's a lot of talk about gratitude. And I sometimes think it's we overuse this idea that gratitude can just like solve everything. So I wanted to dig into it a little bit. And particularly from the well woman perspective, as I always do with topics. So what is gratitude? Let's take a look here. Um, So according to the Oxford Dictionary, gratitude is the quality of being thankful, readiness to show appreciation for and to return kindness. So that's a pretty familiar, you know, definition. Um, Positive psychology argues that gratitude is more than feeling thankful. It's a deeper appreciation for someone or something that produces longer lasting positivity. And another simple definition of gratitude that comes from psychology research is a social emotion that signals our recognition of the things others have done for us. I actually don't think it's about just what others have done for us. I think it can be about just what is in the world too. Like we can have gratitude for flowers that are growing and and stuff. So, um, but those are some good you know, basic definitions to get us thinking about gratitude and how we can, um, what the role gratitude plays in our lives, but also how we can use gratitude to cultivate um, positive feelings. So as far back as 63 BC, Roman scholar Cicero said, gratitude is not only the greatest of the virtues, but the parent of all others. And multiple studies have shown the correlation between gratitude and increased well-being, not just for the individual, but for all people involved. So for the person receiving and and the person giving the gratitude or feeling the gratitude. And then positive psychology, the movement has embraced these studies and in an effort to increase overall well-being has begun to make an effort to incorporate exercises to increase gratitude into the movement. So there's just a lot going on with gratitude. But I want to make sure that we really look at this from the well woman perspective. You know, this is really not about conjuring up false gratitude or telling yourself that you should be grateful for something. Oh, well, I, you know, I should be 
grateful. So therefore I'm going to say that I am and not really feel it. Um, That's not what we're talking about. And when you identify social, political, or economic inequality that impacts you personally or impacts your community or the world, it's important not to fall prey to the, well, it's much better than it used to be. You should be grateful kind of narrative. And so, you know, um, and I bring that up because social, political, and economic equality is the main definition of feminism that I use. And so I use that here to say, you know, if, if there are things going on that are socially, politically, or economically not equal, right, that impacts you, then there's, that, that's the sign of like a larger systems issue, a larger um, problem. And it's important for us to not just, you know, develop gratitude about these inequitable systems, right? So uh, sometimes you hear people say, well, you know, we might not be paid equal as men yet overall, but at least it's better than it used to be. Well, that doesn't really make me feel better. Um, <laughs> you know, and you can, you can see, you know, you can think of, think of examples in lots of different areas where, um, where sometimes we're, we're made to feel that we should be grateful for something and actually it, it's, it's not, you know, it's not really quite there. So, so that's just a reminder there. We'll be right back. I'm so thankful for support from High Desert Yoga, promoting optimum physical health, clarity of mind and spiritual inspiration for all. You're invited to join me for a brand new monthly group experience over in the Well Woman Academy. This is a monthly group that includes access to the full six-week course based on feminism, mindfulness, and the Well Woman Life Framework. It includes weekly groups coaching sessions with me, as well as office hours and a private Facebook group to share and grow. Don't get me wrong, this is hard work. But with these tools, you will easily find the time to do the course, get the coaching, and reach your goals monthly. If you find yourself worrying about whether you'll ever make it in the thing you're pursuing, waking up in the middle of the night with anxiety, lacking the energy you need to get everything done, stuck in some aspect of leading your team, procrastinating on moving forward with projects and tasks, or in a leadership role but second-guessing yourself constantly, I'd love to introduce you to the Well Woman Academy. It's for smart, high-achieving women changing the world who want to overcome anxiety, burnout, perfection, and insecurity. The result? You get to live your well woman life, a life of joy, ease, and abundance, even when things are tough all around you. Visit wellwomanlife.com slash academy to learn more. We're back on the Well Woman Show. And so gratitude is an emotion. And we've done a lot of work on thoughts, feelings, and actions. Um, What we think creates our feelings and our feelings create our actions, right? So if gratitude is an emotion, then what we think will create that feeling of gratitude and that feeling of gratitude will create actions. And that's the power of gratitude um, is that when you really feel that, your actions naturally flow. They naturally follow from a feeling of gratitude. Um, But this is why it can't just be a fake or false feeling of gratitude or something that you think you should say, um, because then you don't really feel it and then the actions don't follow. So I have a couple of activities for us to do, and you can pause this uh, recording and go back to it if you want. But um, the first one is... Um, And I'm taking you through the Well Woman framework here. So starting with awareness, I'd like you to think of something you're grateful for. It can be something small and seemingly insignificant, like your buttery toast this morning, or it can be big and very significant, like your health, your job, family. When I say, you know, seemingly small or seemingly big, that's a judgment that you, you know, that we all place on things. So I want you to sort of look at everything equally and find what you're grateful for. And if you have something in your mind now, if you have multiple things, if lots of things came up, you know, jot them down. But if you have one thing in your mind, what does it feel like when you think about being grateful for it? What does it feel like when you think about being grateful? 
and and I want you to write down how it feels. How does it feel? Okay, so this is the uh, this is part of the awareness stage where we're we're really becoming aware of what we're grateful for. And this is the mindfulness part of this, right? It's like I can be grateful all day long, but if I'm not aware that I'm grateful, then it's not actually functioning um, the way it could. And then the next stage, as you know, in the Well Woman framework is intuition. So close your eyes and really feel the feeling of gratitude that you just identified. What comes up for you? What's alive in you? And what action could you take based on this feeling? So just a reminder, we're still in the intuition stage and you're not actually taking action yet. You're just noticing what's possible. You're just noticing what's possible. So if I use my buttery toast example, and it's kind of funny because I don't eat buttery toast, but uh, I make it for my daughter and it looks really good. So (laughs) maybe I should use an example that I actually do. But uh, okay, so I'll use you know, my wonderful, yummy oatmeal breakfast this morning. I am really grateful for that nourishing, hot meal with baked apples on top of it to make it a little bit sweet. And how do I feel when I think about gratitude for my breakfast? How, do, how does that make me feel? And so jot down how, how it makes you feel for me, it makes me feel nourished. It makes me feel like I'm prioritizing my self-care and my health. I'm grateful for the time that I have in the morning to prepare this. I'm grateful for the view out the window when I'm sitting eating it. So there's all kinds of places you can take this, right? And what is the action that I could take based on this feeling. For me, what's coming up and what I'm noticing is I really want to keep my morning breakfast routine like a priority. Like it's really important for me to have that time to sit and eat a really nutritious, beautiful breakfast. Um, What's also coming up for me is I want to keep the kitchen table area, really nice and clean and beautiful. Um, I want to, you know, make sure the windows are washed so I can look out the window and see the view. So you can see I'm becoming aware of all these things around, around this, this feeling of gratitude that started as a very small kind of, and then the action stage, which is the third stage in the well woman framework is What are the specific actions you could take that align with the feelings of gratitude? So I already named a few. I I actually did kind of go ahead, Um, you know, washing the windows, cleaning the table off the night before so it's all set and ready, Uh, maybe pulling out a cloth napkin, making it really beautiful for myself. And I, I have some examples here that might relate to, you know, other types of gratitude that that may have come up um go outside and walk in nature put on some beautiful music tell my husband i love him slow down when i eat and savor each bite those are all examples related to other kinds of gratitude you know thoughts about gratitude so notice here that you are deciding on the actions based on the awareness and intuitive process you're not doing the actions that someone tells you are good for you or that you think you should do So definitely go back and uh, do this as a practice. Activity number two is to write a gratitude letter to someone in your life who is not an immediate family member that made a big impact on you, who really saw you and your potential, perhaps for the first time in your life. It doesn't matter if they're still living or not. So this is someone that made a really, you know, really big impact on you and, um, It's great if you can think of someone who you really connected to and who really saw your potential and maybe it was the first time that's ever happened. So that would maybe be when you were younger. It doesn't have to be. You can pick anybody from any part of your life. What would you want to say to them? And write freely knowing that you're not actually going to send the letter. So that may open you up to just really write freely. And the first time I did this, 
I actually picked my first grade teacher who made a huge impact on me. She was um, really the first adult outside of my immediate family to see me and see my potential and believe in me. And, um, you know, so I wrote her a letter. So think of someone who you might write a letter to. And you can pause this or go back to it later and write the letter. And it doesn't have to be super long, although it could be, you know, just just go with it. Take as long as you need to, to write that letter out. Okay, so just to recap on using the Well Woman Life Framework, and we did awareness, intuition, action, and then the fourth stage is acceptance or integration, which just flows naturally after the action stage. And that's it for the gratitude module. That's it for our show today. Remember, if you need support to live your well woman life, head over to wellwomanlife.com slash Facebook to join our community. As a reminder, we are on NPR every week. So be sure to tune in at npr.org slash podcasts and search for The Well Woman Show. If you enjoyed today's show, please take a moment and subscribe wherever you listen to podcasts and leave a review. This helps raise visibility, which is super helpful when it comes to producing the show every week. For feedback, comments, or just to let me know you were listening, find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Instagram at Well Woman Life. I'm Giovanna Rossi for The Well Woman Show. Until next time, have a super powerful week.